I'll do. Tom here. Coming at you on a Saturday night. From the veranda, as usual. Housekeeping. Smoking the Alton Amation yet again. Drinking a cup of green tea. Because we are being health conscious at the moment. And what am I smoking? Well, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm smoking Revor Plug. Revor? Reva? Who cares? There's no such thing as correct pronunciation. Now, I could have reviewed this a long time ago because I've enjoyed this blend for quite a while now. It's one that I always have some lying around. I always have a few pouches of this in my personal stock. It comes in long, thick, black plug form. I've actually cut this plug in two. This is a new um, pouch. But I sliced the plug in two. Because um, I was going to try and cut it lengthways for a change. But it crumbles too easily to do that for me. I'm just too heavy handed. Um, so I've taken to just cutting from the mid section. Um, pouch note. It's woody. It's leathery. You can smell the Virginia, you can smell the Kentucky. It's a little bit smoky from the dark fired. But it is, for all intents and purposes, just a Virginia Burley. Um, it gets labelled as a Lakeland. Well, frankly, what Lakeland um, topping is on there is very very subdued to be quite honest with you to the point where it's virtually non-existent which is a good thing in my opinion there is some chopping there but it's extremely subdued so the blend comprises of Virginia and dark fired Kentucky. Don't ask me what ratio because I haven't got a clue. Well, as I was saying in my previous video, I find more pressure um, reviewing a blend that I love. Or a blend that I hate. This one is the former. I love this blend. Now, nicotine wise, it is very strong. I would say a gentle cadence. Um, but it's not so strong that it'll absolutely knock you on your ass. But don't underestimate it, whatever you do. Personally, I would say it's not as strong as Dark Bird's Eye. But it's not too far behind. But it smokes cool. It burns... It, it burns so well like doesn't never ever burns hot never ever gives any hint of tongue bite but how does it taste well there i'll be honest with you there is a melange of flavors that goes on when smoking this blend It's woody, it's earthy, it's leathery, it's smoky, but at the same time there's a little bit of delicate sweetness in there. It's very nuanced, it's almost molasses-like in, in some puffs. Other puffs, 
I could swear I can taste blackberries and a hint of lime marmalade somewhere going on there. And um, yeah, it it does vary. What you get, such an unusual mixture of flavours that are incredibly pleasant. Beer Beard recently was saying that he's been he was getting a floral flavour from Revo, um, but funnily enough, only when he smoked it in a cob. So I'm wondering if the flavours from Revo and the overhang of whatever aromatics he's been smoking in the cob previously are sort of causing a bit of a confused palate for him, I'm not sure. But for me, um, I don't really get floral from it at all. Um, devotees to my channel will know that I am not a fan of law of Lakeland floral essences. That's not to say that I won't try them. And at one point, I did used to really like them. I did used to really like Lakelands. I used to smoke um, Samuel Garwith's Special Flake Number no. 2, which is about as floral as it gets. But I tried some years ago, well, some years, maybe about two years ago, I tried um, some Boson Flake, I think it was, or was it, it was either Boson Flake or Coniston Cut Plug, and that just kind of killed any, uh, any kind of desire to taste Lakeland for quite a long time. Um, and around about the same time I tried Ennerdale Flake and it just no and ever since then just just the smell of them just made me think oh no a little bit too uh, perfumey the last time it happened to me I was smoking I tried some Peterson Hyde Park and that's the only time I've ever smoked a tobacco and thought soap and that was Peter's and I, but, and I really did not care for that. I shifted that. I didn't even finish the bowl I was smoking, I don't think. And I got rid of a tin. I swapped it with a friend for something else. So, What? Different strokes for different folks, as we say. But anyway, back to the tobacco I'm actually supposed to be reviewing. Revor plug. It's got the right amount of strength. It's not an all-day smoke for me. It's certainly more of a evening smoke, um, but it's quite a contemplative smoke for me, as well as um, quite a relaxing smoke. I feel quite comforted after a bowl of this. Um, so I tend to smoke it of an evening. It's, it is my go-to nightcap. I've got another blend that's a go-to nightcap of mine, which I will review on another video. Um, but that's very good as well. But yeah, so Reeve or Plug, what would I, what rating would I give this? I would easily give it um, a 5 out of 5, I think, which I do not give out free and easily, as you will know from my channel. Um, I mean, I'm incredibly, um, incredibly discerning with the ratings. Um, there's not many that I would give a 5 out of 5 to, but Revor Plug, definitely. I love it. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's one for uh, novice pipe smokers. Um, it depends how your tolerance for nicotine and strong flavours are um, I don't know, give it a go maybe um, but if you do give it a go and don't like it I'd say jar it wait a year, try it again, see what you think then because um, I think it's fantastic 
I've yet to try it aged because um, I tend to just smoke it when I've got it and then have to buy some more so yeah that is Revo plug solid 5 out of 5 for me so I'm going to call it a night there thank you for watching if you still are um, take care of yourself and those around you um, and uh, yeah thanks for watching I don't have a joke this week so yeah so I'll just have to end it there really that's it that's it so take it easy I'll see you soon cheers <laughs>